hello everyone and welcome to today's video in today's video we are going to take a look at a very important concept and that is what is the right way to use analyst ratings when you're looking to buy or sell stocks now this is very important for retail traders because a lot of retail traders themselves cannot make this analysis or understand what to buy and what to sell and so therefore they 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 basically look for this information from the so-called analysts that are uh, sitting there and a lot of people simply use the recommendations that the analysts give without taking their own time to investigate and analyze these stocks so we're going to be looking at the do's and don'ts of using the analyst ratings so let's get started a uh, quick look as to what all we'll be covering today i put this section right at the beginning of the uh, video itself so that you can gauge what we're going to be covering and if this is something which interests you interests uh, you you can carry on till the end of the video otherwise you can switch to one of more my other videos so the first thing is that we'll understand what exactly is an analyst stock recommendation so you would be hearing the words buy sell hold and also there is something called a price target so what is exactly the price target is it the price at which the stock should be trading today is it the price at which a stock should reach at some point in the future uh, is it the intrinsic value what does it really represent we'll understand that and another thing we'll take a look at is why you should not be using the analyst ratings alone how do you basically use the ratings to improve your trading and investment decisions but why you should not rely on these ratings alone to take these decisions and then finally we'll take a look at the right way to use the analyst ratings before we proceed a quick look at the disclaimer which basically states that whatever information i'm sharing with you is only for entertainment purposes it is not any kind of trading or investment advice in case you plan to trade or invest your money please get in touch with a certified financial advisor for the same so first thing let's understand the meaning so that we are all on the same page what exactly is an analyst recommendation what exactly is an analyst rating and what is the target price so when you look at any of the platforms let's say i go to yahoo finance and i try to look up the analyst recommendation for a particular stock i'll basically get three or five ratings if they are using a three rating format then the ratings would be buy sell and hold and if they are using a five rating format then the ratings would say strong buy buy hold se uh, sell and strong sell uh, in addition to this some platforms also use a terminology called moderate buy and moderate sell so essentially these are buy sell and hold ratings only but then some people try to give five values and some people try to use seven values it's a different scale which is being used but essentially all these ratings are telling you what is the sentiment as per the analyst is it towards the buy side or towards the sell side or to just sit on the sidelines and wait for something to happen so that is the meaning of the analyst rating and i hope this is clear because we'll continue with the same definition for the remainder of the video so i just put this out so that everybody is on the same page and people don't get confused with three or five or seven uh, scale format uh, the different scales uh, being used to give give out the same ratings next is the price target now this is very important to understand let's say a stock is trading at 150 dollars and an analyst comes out and says my target for the stock is $200. So what does it mean? Does it mean that the stock today is valued at $200? No, it doesn't. No analyst is telling you the intrinsic value of the stock or the value at which the company uh, should be trading today. Okay. What analysts do is they analyze the stock. They see what is the future growth potential. How are the sales doing? How is the sector doing? How is the industry doing? How the economy is expected to do? in the next 12 months so the target price which they usually give is the target where they see the stock trading in 12 months from now this is very very important because if you see just a 5 percent or a 10 percent upside potential uh, in, in a stock right now remember that you are expected to make if the analyst prediction is correct you're expected to make that 5 or 10 percent over the next 12 months it's not going to happen within a month it's not going to happen within a day but the analyst projections are for what is expected to happen in about 12 months from now more importantly if you're looking at any of the analyst reports you should check with them you should read the fine print to understand what exactly they're conveying what i'm telling you is my general observation that any stock recommendation which comes out today the 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 target price is where the analyst predicts the stock should be in 12 months from now so i think with this definition out of the way we will proceed with the core uh, content of the video which is how not to use the analyst recommendations and then finally how to use these recommendations for our trading and investment decisions so first thing is don't trade 
solely based on the ratings just because a very reputed analyst working with a very reputed investment bank came out and said this stock has a buy rating don't start buying that stock first thing is you should not just go with the ratings and why is that so first reason every analyst has their own perspective okay so any analyst even if they are genuinely giving out the ratings they give you their own perspective go to any stock and check their ratings and you will find that if let's say 30 analysts are giving the rating some of the analysts would be giving a buy whereas there would be some analysts giving a sell or a hold rating so think about it if the same stock has a buy rating from some analysts and a sell rating from some other analysts one of these have to be wrong right you cannot have both the analysts correct so analysts even if the genuinely they are they are giving out the ratings those ratings cannot just be taken uh, into consideration for our investment and trading decisions because end of the day these are individual perspectives so whatever analysis these people have done they feel it is a buy or they feel it is a sell it is not necessary that they are accurate because everybody can make a mistake in their analysis everybody can leave out important information and so analyst ratings only represent perspectives remember that just because an analyst from a reputed investment bank said that so and so stock is a buy and this is the target price does not mean that the stock is going to go up and hit that target price these are only perspectives so treat them like perspectives don't treat them like a holy grail that just because somebody who has more knowledge than you or who has uh, more information than you or more resources at his disposal is going to give you better results no that is not going to happen the best of the best investors make terrible investment decisions and that is not because they lack their analysis because they do miss out something while doing their analysis which they realize later on so when you see an analyst rating please treat it like it as, as a person's perspective and not as a holy grail that just because you have a recommendation because otherwise trading is very simple right all you would have to do is just look at the analyst recommendations and keep buying and selling based off that but trading is not all that simple investment is not all that simple there is a reason why people look to warren buffett and try to copy his portfolio because he has been successful with his way of trading with his selections over a long period of time so lot of analysts cannot reach even close to him because their their uh, their prediction ratio may be with 60% accuracy right so please treat analyst ratings like the analysis done by a single individual or maybe a small group a small team and not as a holy grail to take investment and trading decisions the second thing is the analyst is not telling you where the stock should be trading today whatever price we already discussed this briefly whatever price the target price has been set by the analyst is where the price should be in 12 months from now and in 12 months from now a lot of things can change so all these analysts will do is give a new rating saying okay 6 months back we said this is a strong buy which should go up by 50 dollars now i'm saying it is a hold and and it doesn't take any effort on the past or part of the analyst to revise their ratings but if you have already invested your money solely on the grounds of the analyst rating you're going to be losing money as a retail investor and that is what we want to avoid at all costs so the next thing is target price is not the intrinsic value of the stock one of the ways that you can be a successful investor or trader for in the long run is if you only look for stocks trading at a discount or what in other terms is called value investing if you buy something let's say you're in the market for buying a jacket right and the jacket usually sells for 70 to 80 dollars the moment you see it selling for 40 dollars you go and buy it and you know this is one of the best prices that i can buy it because in your past experience you've seen it trading at 70 to 80 dollars or i should say selling at 70 to 80 dollars most of the time the same thing we want to apply to our stock trading so we want to basically come up with our own valuation and then we want to see number one we're not buying at the highs secondly we want to buy at a price which is below our intrinsic value calculation of the stock the analyst whatever target price they're giving you is not the intrinsic value of the stock so let's say a stock is trading at 150 dollars and it may over be it may already be overvalued if the analyst comes out and says that this stock's target price is 200 dollars that is very much possible why because the analyst is not bothered about the intrinsic value of the stock they may just feel that the stock is overvalued at 150 bucks but there is a very good scope of this stock being even further getting overvalued to 200 bucks in in 12 months from now 
So you are basically banking upon an already overvalued stock to become even more overvalued, right? Now I'm not saying that a $150 overpriced stock cannot reach $200. But we do not want to. That's not my recommendation. That is not what I would suggest that you do because you're banking upon already a stretched rubber string to get stretched even further, right? So normally when stocks get overstretched to the upside or to the downside, they revert back to their intrinsic values. And that is the right way of trading. So just because you see an analyst target price, do not misunderstand and do not misinterpret it as the intrinsic value of the stock what you should be doing is looking at the intrinsic value of the stock and seeing is the stock undervalued or overvalued right now and that should be the basis for your investment or trading decisions and the next thing is something which i'll put it as a question and you can research more on this that are ratings always genuine so ratings uh, are given by different analysts and these analysts usually work for big reputed investment banks and i have seen multiple times that the investment bank has an analyst which will basically give a sell rating or a, a bad rating for a certain company and then a few months later when the sec filings of the same investment bank are made public we realize that the same investment bank has been actually buying shares of the same company i'm not going to name anybody who's done this but you can do your research and you'll find multiple examples where the analyst working with an investment bank has given a sell recommendation but that very same investment bank's trading desk is actually buying a bulk of shares of the company on which the rating was given so for me this is basically contradictory that your analysts are saying that a, a stock has a sell rating but your trading desk is actually buying tons of that stock right and uh, if, if you this, this is something which has been questioned publicly and the ceos of these investment banks they actually come back with a very a nice explanation that these are two different departments and their scale of operations is so huge that these two departments don't even talk to each other so the analysts work independently and they felt genuinely that the stock uh, or the company uh, should be sold it is uh, not a good company but their trading desk people who actually invest the money of the investment bank they felt that the stock is a buy so i i mean when when you see this kind of information then you basically uh, have to take the analyst recommendations with a pinch of salt and not on the face value that is why i'm reiterating again and again that analyst recommendations are only the perspective of a single person it is not a holy grail that the stock is going to go up or go down based on the analyst recommendation the stock may go up or go down in the short term because a lot of people follow the analyst recommendations and moment an analyst says you know this company has a horrible future a lot of people will sell in panic and that selling will bring the price down but that doesn't mean that something fundamentally has changed about the company and you must do your own fundamental and technical analysis to confirm that so now let's get to the fact that we know the deficiencies of solely relying on analyst ratings so how do we actually use these ratings to improve our investment decisions should we use them at all or should we totally ignore them so first thing is you should consider the analyst ratings and the one rule that i follow and i have mentioned this multiple times in various videos that i have uploaded till now is that don't go against the analyst recommendations so if you look at uh, the finvis screeners that i have created i've created multiple screeners i'll leave a link to those in the description uh, like i have a finvis screener for identifying stocks which give good dividends identifying uh, stocks which are fundamentally undervalued identifying stocks which are temporarily trading uh, at a discount or uh, the penny stock screener so in all these screeners you would see that one common feature that i'm doing is that i try to go with the analyst recommendations and the reason is very simple don't go against the analyst recommendations because when i'm trying to buy into a stock i want the entire world to be with me because let's say that everybody is trying to buy the stock what's going to happen there is going to be a lot of buy pressure with very little sell pressure and therefore the price of the stock is automatically going to go up that means the stock is going to be an uptrend and we want to ride that uptrend if you are trying to buy a stock on which there is a lot of sell rating right now and new sell ratings are coming out from the analysts people who are actually trading based on those sell ratings are going to push the prices down so i don't want to trade in stocks against the analyst recommendation i am not saying that if an analyst says go buy a stock you start buying that stock no but also at the same time what i'm maintaining is that if multiple analysts are giving sell rating on a stock 
don't buy that stock because chances are people who are following those ratings are going to basically uh, sell off their positions and that selling pressure is going to push the price further down so wait for some time let the prices come down form a good support and then you can get in secondly you should be using the ratings to confirm your analysis so this is again something in line with the first point that i mentioned that once i carry out my analysis and i find that a stock is fundamentally undervalued or in the short term there has been a lot of selling in the stock then i confirm that with the analyst ratings to see whether my analysis is in line with the analyst analysis or not if it is not that gives me a reason to see am i missing out on something there could be important information which i am missing out on which the analyst has got because obviously these analysts working at big firms have access to much more resources and it's their daily bread and butter right so they're spending hours and hours of time into doing this research so you should use these ratings as a, a benchmark as as a comparison tool that if you feel something is a strong buy and the analyst feels it's it's a totally opposite rating that it's a sell then you have more research to do to figure out what are you missing third thing is when you're using analyst ratings so for a lot of good companies uh, the popular companies especially which are part of the S&P or some other index you will see that these companies are covered by multiple analysts so there may be 30 40 analysts which are covering a single company so another thing is the, each of these analysts will have their own price targets so essentially you can come up with three values you can have the highest price target that means for of, out of all the 40 analysts what is the highest target price that the analyst is setting what is the lowest price that the analysts are setting and then the third one would be an average price now i like to work with the average price and the lowest price why because these are conservative uh, estimates and so they help me with something called defensive trading okay so if i see that the lowest price target is very close to the current price i'm going to stay away from that stock why because there is very little room for the stock to go up and it is going to hit the first lowest price target but if i see that the lowest price target is about 30% away from the current price then i know that the stock can at least even if the if the lowest price target is 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 accurate that means out of all the 40 analysts who are giving a rating the lowest uh, price target only that much is achieved by the stock still i am going to make a 30% gain right and if in future course of time in the next 12 months the analysts start dropping their ratings by 5 10% also still i have a, subs, uh, a sufficient margin to make some profits so don't go with the highest price targets go with the lowest price targets and if you don't want to go with the absolute lowest price target then at least the average targets is what you should consider this is again very important all analysts do not have the same kind of accuracy when it comes to suggesting or making stock recommendations so you should go out and you should see which companies usually have uh good ratings and and the stocks once they have given a rating the stocks have actually followed that trajectory so if the company or the investment bank comes and says this is a, a a strong sell stock did the price of the stock actually fall over the next 12 months so was the trading accurate enough or not so this information a lot of times it is available on the internet or you can basically look at the past ratings for a given stock and that basically gives you an idea which analysts and more importantly which of the investment banks or the companies which are giving these analyst recommendations have a higher accuracy so you should stay away from the ones where the accuracy is really really low so this is something which you will build with experience over experience why have people started trusting people like uh, warren buffett charlie munger peter lynch because whatever recommendations or whatever basically investments they make they turn out to be good investments most of the times so same way you don't want to trust every analyst out there you want to work and follow analysts who have a higher accuracy also um, i find it much more uh, trustworthy to work with analysts or to follow analysts who just don't mention the price target and their recommendation of buy sell or hold but rather they try to give the reasoning whenever they have a major shift in the recommendation so if a stock has been doing well and all of a sudden an analyst comes out and says this is a strong sell right now i want to really understand the rationale behind it and a lot of analysts will give out this information along with their price targets that they they see some problem in the supply chain they see some problem uh, with the sector or they see some new emerging technology which kind of ma- then makes sense so so that is something you would understand that 
there is a reasoning behind why this analyst feels this industry is going to do something really well or do something uh, uh, really bad and 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 that rationale is very very important because we don't want to base our decisions on simply somebody what somebody is telling us so uh, all in all if you want to use the analyst ratings i would suggest that you use them because they are a tool but they should be considered like a tool which is only there to assist you and confirm your investment decisions if you want to really invest your money you should invest time in learning a certain level of fundamental and technical analysis fundamental analysis can be made as complicated as you want to make it and it can be kept as simple as you want to make it but in my uh, recommendation you can check out my finvis screener on identifying fundamentally uh, undervalued companies and you will see i am not using a lot of screener settings there but those simple three or four screener settings are basically going to drop off a lot of bad companies so essentially the companies left there will be good companies fundamentally good companies which do require further analysis but then you've dropped off most of the companies which are which cannot be categorized as good companies so don't you don't have to be warren buffet you don't have to understand the balance sheet like an accountant all you have to do is know the basics when you know the basics with that information alone you can improve your results your accuracy by many folds so these analysts also are wrong most of the times and and they don't have any holy grail and they can have other agendas at place as i mentioned earlier because understand these uh, banks and investment companies who hire these analysts are also uh carrying out trading and investing their own money in these companies so they always have an incentive to give out these ratings which just don't benefit the retail traders but they benefit the bigger institutions right so if if i mean imagine if i want to buy a stock cheap right and uh, i give a sell recommendation obviously the price of the stock is going to fall down if people start following my recommendation and then i am in a position to buy that stock at a much more attractive price so i'm not saying these kind of things happen all the time but th- that th- this is a very real possibility and you can just uh, do your own investigation and see how many cases of insider trading and how many cases of faulty practices are out there and these are cases which were highlighted and which basically were brought into public notice so imagine the number of situations where these things are even not caught so as a retail trader we don't have access to any of this information and so the only thing that we should be doing is to use the analyst ratings to our advantage but then not solely rely on them and make them as the only reason why we get in or, in and in or out of uh, stock positions so finally what i would want to say is stick to the basics value investing that is buying stocks when they are cheap when they are trading at a lower price and then selling them when they are expensive is a show sure short way of making money and this is i have a complete video around this where i explain how to uh, buy low and sell high and this is one principle the only principle which is required to be followed in order to make money so don't buy at the peaks don't buy when a stock is being hyped don't buy when a, a battalion of analysts are saying this is a strong buy do your own analysis make sure the stock is undervalued make sure the fundamentals are backing the analyst ratings make sure the technicals are in line and once you are confident then only put your hard earned money into that investment or trade so i hope with this video you will understand the right way to use analyst ratings and you will stay away from all the hype that comes in you will do more research and trust me it is better to stay away from a trade or an investment rather than get into it and then lose your money that's a very very bitter experience and don't get into all this hypes and don't become impatient just because there is a hot stock out there chances are that if it is a hot stock which everybody but is recommending it is all it is already too expensive it is already lost uh, its charm because its way it's trading way above its intrinsic value so hopefully this video was useful to you please share it with your family and friends do like the video and subscribe to the channel and if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them down in the comment section and i'll respond to you Thank you for your time and I'll catch you guys in the next video.